Good morning and salam sejahtera to all panel. I am Romaldo Manuel and for our session today, I will be presenting my final year project titled Titanium Isopropoxide Modified Expanded Perlite for the removal of neuron from water. My supervisor is Dr. Yong Sun Kong. Here is the content for our session today. Without any further ado, let's jump to our first chapter introduction. Herbicide Euron is regularly used herbicide in oil palm plantation in Malaysia. And expanded perlite is a lightweight, has a high porosity and absorption capacity than that of raw perlite. And the photocatalytic degradation is also one of the methods used to remove Duron from water. This technique is fast and effective with total disappearance of Duron can be achieved in 45 minutes. The research objective of this study are to optimize the amount of hydrogen peroxide for producing of expanded polite with the highest kitchen exchange capacity value. Second is to determine the effect of oxidization on the pH PZC of the expanded perlite. The effect of oxidization of hydrogen peroxide on clear mineral. This table shows zeolite treated with different concentration of hydrogen peroxide. The zeolite treated with 50% of hydrogen peroxide reported that the BT surface area become larger from 37.95 to 40.34 square meter per gram and the absorption capacity is 28.8 mg per gram while the other zeolite are treated with 50% of hydrogen peroxide the BT surface area remain unchanged only the surface pore increase from 138.43 to 143.70 square meter per gram and the absorption capacity is 0 0.23 mg per gram the hydrogen peroxide form more functional group on the surface of zeolites that helps improve the absorption capacity. The factor that influence the adsorption and photocatalytic degradation on modified expanded perlite. The first factor is the pH value of the solution. The pH value affect the loss of titanium dioxide from expanded perlite is by at acidic media. The pH value lower than 7 have radical species that are rapidly scavenging and this will lead to a sum of the titanium dioxide to lose from the surface of expanded perlite and this also will lead to decrease in the rate of reaction next is the surface area of the photocatalyst according to Dorong Clue 2016 the best photocatalytic degradation efficiency 87.7% is from catalyst with smaller particle size. Theoretically, the surface area of the smaller particle size is higher. This lead to higher impregnation of titanium dioxide. Furthermore, calcination temperature also influence the absorption and photocatalyst degradation on modified expanded perlite. Lee et al. 2015 stated that the increase of photocatalytic degradation efficiency is only until 500 celsius after the exceeding 500 celsius the efficiency decrease the oxidization of expanded perlite the first step was to sieve 10 grams of expanded perlite with 1 to 2 nanometer siever next the expanded perlite was added into 200 milliliter of 30 percent hydrogen peroxide solution and placed into the water bath at 80 celsius for two hours then it was filtered after filtration, it was dry in the oven overnight at 105 Celsius. Oxidized expanded perlite modified with titanium isopropoxide. First, 25 ml of absolute ethanol was poured into a beaker and 2 ml of titanium isopropoxide was slowly added under a steering with a magnetic stirrer. Through mixing and then 1 ml distilled water glycerated acetic acid and nitric acid respectively were added through mixing again and continue to add 1 ml distilled water glacial acetic acid and nitric acid respectively stirring for 30 minutes and finally 5 grams of expanded perlite was added continue to stir for 30 minutes the mixture obtained was dry in the oven at 104.85 celsius and it was calcinated at 499.85 celsius 
in the furnace for three hours. Lastly, it was cooled to room temperature inside the desiccator. Fourier transform infrared spectroscopy FTIR analysis of oxidized expanded perlite and expanded perlite. From the figure, it shows that the broadband between 3750 cm and T. 3000 cm is assigned to the vibration of hydroxyl group at the surface of the expanded perlite. The study of the infrared spectra of oxidized expanded perlite and expanded perlite show, sample shows that there are different intensity of bonds at 300-750 cm and 300 cm. This also suggests that the oxidized expanded perlite have a little more hydroxyl group than the expanded perlite. And it can be concluded that the oxidation helps in increase the number of hydroxyl group on the surface of the expanded perlite. The pH PZC of oxidized expanded perlite and expanded perlite. The graph shows that both of oxidized expanded perlite and expanded perlite result slightly near pH 7. Theoretically, when the pH of the solution is lower than pH PZC, the mineral surface is positively charged. And when the pH is equal to the pH PZC of the composite, there is no change in the mineral surface. But when the pH solution is greater than the pH PZC, the mineral surface will be negative charge. Both of the oxidized expanded perlite and expanded perlite shows a net negative charge. The same result from Dogen M. Alken M. 1997 that the expanded perlite has more negative charge than the untreated expanded perlite. The cation exchange capacity of oxidized expanded perlite. The table shows that the oxidized expanded perlite has a higher cation exchange capacity and it can absorb more sodium ions. This is correlated with the findings in previous section with the pH PZC of oxidized expanded perlite and expanded perlite is near pH 7. pH value bigger than pH PZC which makes the surface of the oxidized expanded perlite and expanded perlite become net negative charge that can attract more cation to the surface of the oxidized expanded perlite. Furthermore, the oxidization of expanded perlite might also help in the formation of new charge sites that are result from the reaction during the oxidization. The characterization of titanium exopropoxide modified expanded perlite. The figure shows the FTIR spectra of titanium dioxide modified oxidized expanded perlite and titanium dioxide modified expanded perlite. The band below 1000 cm correspond to the titanium crystal lattice vibration. The interpretation from this graph is that the amplification of the band in 800 cm to 600 cm allows inferring that there are overlapping of the band characteristic of the deformation of the OSIO bonds from expanded perlite and the deformation of OTIO bonds from titanium dioxide. The recommendation uh, in the early stage of this preparation of this experiment, it is suggested to make sure all the chemicals is available and reserve the equipment and apparatus that will be needed throughout the experiment. In conclusion, the 30% hydrogen peroxide can help in optimizing the highest result for cation exchange capacity 9.21 milli equivalent per gram, but the oxidization of hydrogen peroxide on the surface of expanded perlite will not affect the 0 0.0 charge of expanded perlite. That is all for my presentation today. Thank you for spending your precious time and lending your ears to my presentation. Have a good day.